to EA Sports live coverage of the Capital One Cup. Today it's Manchester United against Everton. Of course the lights are beaming down this evening. So without further ado, let's cross straight to Old Trafford. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Well, a break from the league action in the English League Cup. And I can sense the extra buzz amongst the supporters as we came into the stadium. You look at each side and think, well, there are goals in them. And uh, in that respect, they're very, very strong. Well, they are. I mean, we talk a lot about the strikers, but the two defences as well. It's going to be a really tough match-up, this. Alan, can I take you back to uh, a game we were covering at Wigan. We got in our cars to drive home, and we both switched on our radio and heard the uh, speculation, which turned out to be fact, that Alex Ferguson was going to stand down as Manchester United manager. That was May 2013. And I don't know about you, but I had a four-hour drive home and I couldn't, you know, I couldn't uh, stop thinking about it, listen to all the news bulletins. It was such a shock. It was. I mean, he's just been a part of our lives, a part of the fabric of the, the game in this country for such a long time and it, it won't be the same without him. So one of those times where you remember where you were, a bit of a JFK moment now. Ready to go in this cup tie in the English League Cup. Well, there's a lot of good players out there, but uh, they don't always show it in this competition because nerves can get the better of you. And here comes an attack from Manchester United. It's going to be a goal, surely. Oh, and that is the first goal, and it could be the one that actually shapes the destiny of the day. Well, he kept the ball under marvellous control. Kept his head up, knew where he was, knew where the defenders were, knew where the goal was, knew where the back of the net was. I think he had that ball on a string. It did not leave his boot. And the score is 1-0. Goal news from White Hart Lane, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. Four minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. The positional play of this play is really good. Paul Pogba. Maybe a chance on the cross for Cavani. Manchester United have scored! Special goal. Well, he's got a track record of that. On his left side, he's so dangerous. Well, it was just perfect from the delivery to the finish. Top marks. Well, that has made it 2-0. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Good control here. Quite congested midfield, but good passing from this team. That's a real close-range chance. Oh! That was a real chance, any decent connection, and I think it would have been a goal. Yeah, just needed to keep his head down on the ball and it would have been job done. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McInally. It's a goal for West Bromwich Albion. 14 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. That could have been another one for him. Oh, without doubt, it's a decent opportunity when you think the previous goal, that was an even harder chance. Oh, he should have kept it down, really, Alan. Well, it was a brilliant ball in, and uh, he couldn't have asked for any more, but the finish was woeful. Jimenez, goal news from Crystal Palace. It's a goal for Crystal Palace. 17 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Alan. Jimenez. Pass back, that's lovely. Now James. from Watford. It's the second goal for Watford. 23 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. The 
Uruguay. Alex Teyes. Edinson Cavani. He's inspirational and so industrious as well. Yeah, I mean, what he, he lacks in some areas of his game, he certainly makes up with his work rate. Right? Now James. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McInally. It's a goal for Ipswich Town. 31 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. Thank you very much, Alan. And it's presented to the player by the opposition. Gilfie Sigurdsson, he read it and cut it out. That's a great interception. Slipped his man. Oh, he's in! What a chance! And that's a fantastic goal. Turning out to be his day, his second goal. Well, this is Manchester United at their sparkling best. Gilfie Sigurdsson, that's very well read. And that's a very good interception. Wonderful Cavani. Goal nears from Scunthorpe. It's a goal for Scunthorpe United. 39 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Cheers, Alan. And in goes the cross. He committed himself here. There wasn't much cover, but he got the ball, the defender, in the wide position. Oh, he loves that, doesn't he? And it's come off for him again. That's going to be easy for the keeper to collect. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McInally. It's the second goal for Manchester City. 44 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. There's the ball in. The defender dealt with it. Puffing out his cheeks there, he was worried. Fouled by the Manchester United man. Field. They've got it back via an interception. So we've reached the break. 3 0 for half time score. Well, the first half has given us a bit of a guide here as to what's going to happen, as to who's going to go through and who's going to go out. Yeah, I think deservedly lead, leading at the break, and uh, what a carrot to knock out their opponents from this tournament. They just keep it together, last 45. So we reach half-time. 3-0 the score with Manchester United leading. Well, there are other options from the bench. Good action in the English League Cup in the first 45 minutes. Second half starts now. Well, I think one or two players surprised us, actually, how well they played in that first half. They'll be delighted. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McInally. It's the second goal for West Bromwich Albion. 47 minutes played, 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. And he's given the free kick. Well, the cross has gone straight to the defender. It's one back. Edison Cavani. And they've cut it out. Of the foot, and it's always curling in, but just couldn't curl enough. And he's got the ball well to set his team on the front foot by intercepting. Goal news from White Hart Lane, Alan McInally. It's another goal, he might be through. And here's the shot, and the goalkeeper saved it. Well, in those one on one situations, it's difficult for both parties, but he came out on top there. Goal then 
for Manchester United. Well, the uh, attention to detail from the coach on these kind of set pieces is faultless. He'll be delighted with that. Well, they're dominating now. 4-0 on the scoreline. Alan McAnally is our man on the spot in that game. A goal for Spurs. He's gone for goal. And they've scored again. Three of the best. He's made them play. And that completes a wonderful hat-trick. Well, he didn't need anybody else there. He didn't look up for a second. All on his own. What a goal. And now they've made it 5-0. Goal news from White Hart Lane. Alan McInally. It's another goal for Tottenham Hotspur. 58 minutes played. 5-0. Thanks, Alan. Some players limbering up for the away team. Substitution in the offing. And Not a good challenge by the defender. Chance for the cross. And he goes up to head it away. Excellent positioning, and the interception is made. Another piece of intercepting there that works for his team. Looking to widen the play, really, widen the build up, but the ball just runs straight out over the touchline. Managers of the both sides are going to make a change now. Fabian Dell. Manchester United with the ball again. Now James. Well, he almost went down there, did well to stay on his feet. He's given the free kick. It's in a really threatening position too. Will it be uh, well rehearsed here? Quickly taken. Well, he backed his ability from that sort of range, but it was a decent effort. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I mean, he got the crowd off the seats, but uh, maybe in hindsight, he should have tried something different. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McInally. It's a third goal for Manchester City. 69 minutes played, 3-0. Cheers, Alan. And it's behind for the goal kick. Substitution now, and might use up a bit of time here as well for the team that want to hang on to this lead. He's got to play it back to the goalkeeper. Goal news involving Millwall. It's a goal for Millwall. 74 minutes, please. 1-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Well, here comes a substitution for the away team. Well, no one's on the end of that cross. Goal 
this time. Yeah, that's an unfortunate one. It was a good effort from him. He's put it over the bar from a really promising position. No, he didn't, and his technique has let him down badly there. He has got the opportunity to change the tactics as well as the players with... Some movement from the bench. Allen, it's 82 minutes played now. News of a goal from elsewhere, Alan McInally. It's another goal for Newcastle United. Six minutes remain, 5-1. Cheers, Alan. Goes straight to the defender. Allen. Jimenez. In quickly, the forward. Here's an opportunity. Jimenez. Paul Pogba. Great opportunity. Here's the shot. Well, that's his best save of the game, Alan. He's had a pretty sketchy match, in truth, but well done then. Yeah, a bit of a port in a storm for him. He's not been in the best of form, but yeah, as you say, fair play. I don't like to use the word panic, but I think it's appropriate here. Yannick Polassi. Crisp defending there. Maguire. Alex Telles. And in goes the cross. Well, this is a real charge for a big victory. Oh, fair play. Well done to those defenders. They really did close down quickly there. Well, what a good ball into the middle. Well, heading is an art, and it's an art that he's not quite mastered yet, clearly. <laughs> this is a brilliant result for them. They continue to fight in the cup. On they go to the next round. They just appear to have a wonderful team spirit in that camp, and that's going to serve them well. Well, there was really only one team in that game, and their fans will be travelling home delighted with their big victory. I'll leave you with the full match highlights, and until next time, I've been Jeff Stelling. Bye for now.